What is up? It's your boy Aang here bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a fun one. Today we got an exciting one. Today we've got a banger. So we're back with another Mod Monday. Today's, today we got a Mod Monday that if you don't have this already, you're going to buy it. Like after this video, you're going to buy it because it's just that legendary. Let me get started. So a company recently reached out to me. The company that sent me out those side steps, they also said, hey, we got an air compressor. Are you interested? And I said, of course, yes, I'm interested. It was one of those things that I thought, you know what, maybe I need it. Maybe. But let me tell you something. I went on a vacation for a week. When you're on vacation, you're really not thinking about anything. You're just thinking about disconnecting and having fun on that vacation. I was thinking about filling somebody's tires up with air. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Bada boom, bada bing. Check this out. Game changer, okay? Game changer. Shock flow. It's a smart, inflatable pump. Listen, okay? I thought it was cool just the thought of it. Once you see it work, once you use it, sold i don't show you guys things unless i'm like absolutely sold on them or i think they're absolutely amazing this is my favorite thing that i've gotten ever maybe okay i'll stop talking about it i'll show you what i'm talking about this is what you get this little box comes inside of another box and inside the box you get more boxes so in here you got some connections the main one is the one that i will be using the most so you can charge this at home take it on the go and be ready wherever let's say you use the whole battery let's say somehow you run this dry you got a cable every car comes with the plug for it and you got the cable you can charge it the cable is actually very very long it's this long it's pretty long yeah it's long but that's not all folks you also get different nozzle heads so if you have to put air in like a ball or something that requires different head types you have it. I've had this for around three to four days now, and I've already put air in everything that I've owned. Like I'm literally just at this point asking anybody, do you need air? Because I got it. I don't necessarily know how to explain it, but it feels like one of those things that I have now and I'm like, why haven't I had this my entire life? So many times Sandy's like, oh, my tire needs air. Okay, that's a trip to Wawa. That's a trip I don't have to make anymore, thankfully. Now that's enough chitter chatter, you're probably wondering, Aang, how does this work? You can charge it up at home with a USB type C, or you can plug it into your truck. In this showcase, I charge it up at home, now let's test it out. Power button, turn this bad boy around, right here. You know it's on, because it indicates you right here. You have different modes, you got the car, you got the SUV. If you want to go to car, then you can change the setting, bar. I have no idea what that means, do you? But you can change the settings, KPA, still don't know. KG, slash CM, still don't know. PSI, now we're speaking my language. Right now my tires are like 55 PSI. But what's really cool about this is that I can drop the air down and then see what PSI I'm actually reading. Just as an example, we're gonna mess with this tire right here. You grab this, this little nozzle right here, you leave this part open, you plug it in, and then you close the clamp. Once you've closed the clamp, it's in there like swimwear. You're all good to go. Now you grab that, plug it into there. What I like about this is you can also take air out of the tire. If you're an off-roader, you know. I'm an off-roader. Come on, we go to the mall all the time. You take air out of your tire so that when you're on the trail, it's a smoother ride. So right there, I let a lot of air out of it. Again, we were at like 50, now we're at 45. So if I just wanted to go up to 50, I hold it up to 50, and then I just hit play. That is so sick. I don't know why it's so cool to me. Maybe you have one. Maybe you don't. If you do or you don't, get this one. Once you get it where you want it to be, I personally wanted it to leave it at 48 because that's what my other tires are at. Pop it off, this goes back on, and you're on your merry way. I charged it once and it still has two batteries of light. That's after all my tires were deflated and then inflated, Sandy's tires, two bikes, and I think that's it. It has a good amount of battery. Of course, don't forget to turn it off. Put it back there and call it a day. So if you are at all interested in this product, it will be linked down below. I personally, I can't believe I didn't have it for this long. I didn't know about it, but now you know about it. So how could you not get it? I showed it to my mom and dad, they liked it. So if the company, if you want to send me out another one, I'll appreciate it. It's just that cool. It can be stored so easily, it can charge so easily. But with all that being said, if you're not 100% sure, stay tuned on the YouTube channel. I will be making videos on this three months down the line, six months, a year, so on and so forth. So if you're not 100% sold and you want to see this, how long it'll last, I think it'll last a very long time and I will be carrying it as my primary and probably picking one up for Sandy's car. Go down below. I could not recommend this enough. But with all that being said, it's been your boy. I might like it now. Y'all see you tomorrow. Single tomorrow.